And welcome back one and all, welcome back to something just a little bit different. To close up Martian Gothic week, we are going to be looking at the other works of the British developer Creative Reality. Now, Creative Reality was founded in the mid-1980s by Neil Dodwell and David Dew, or Dew, depending how you say it. Now, as you may already know if you watch my channel a lot, these guys were responsible for Dreamweb and Martian Gothic. And that's mostly where people seem to know them from, but they also released games for the Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum. So what we're going to do in these next two videos, we're going to have a look at them. Some of these games I've played before, some I'm going in completely blind. All these games were actually published by a company called Martech, and unless otherwise stated, I will be playing the Commodore 64 versions of these games, except for one which was only released for the ZX Spectrum. So without further ado, let's do this! The first game we're going to look at is Tarzan, released in 1986 for the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum. It has an average Lemon 64 rating of 5.5, and most notably Creative Reality aren't actually credited in this game, but David Dew is there on graphics, so we're going to count it. Let's do this, shall we? Okay, the usual trainer stuff, uh, return to stop, space to exit. Okay, Tarzan, owned by Edgar Rice, blah 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 blah, plus fire to begin. And the graphics are by David Dew, as said there. Now, I've not played this before, so... Oh my god, that's some funky music. Buttons do nothing. Oh god. <laughs> This is actually quite nice. I'm actually surprised button. Oh, buttons do do stuff, but you've got a. You can only punch when you actually crouched. Interesting. Okay, I can't go anymore that way. Can I climb? Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh god, what the. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. <laughs> Was I attacked by a snake or something? Oh, can I get- that looks like I can go up, doesn't it? Yes, there we go! We're getting the hang of the game! Easter Island head there. Can't go that way. Oh. I'm not entirely even sure what the objective of the game- What the hell happened? Is that a... Oh, it's a pit! Oh, I see, okay. So we... I... don't know. <laughs> That's a pit! Aha! Well, I managed to get a punch off to the guy's... Oh, okay, I think he fell in the pit. Aha! I will run away from you. No, okay, let's do this again. I want to try... And now he's disappeared! God, this is weird! I do like... I can... I've got a lot of respect for the fact that... Um, oh my god. So that's my health bar on the bottom. Okay. I've got a lot of respect for the fact they've got these um, different screens we can go up and down. That's actually quite inventive and something... I wouldn't necessarily thought I'd see in 1986. The graphics are actually quite nice. The controls are ridiculously responsive. Oh my god! Did I kill it? I got attacked. Oh my, I ran from the pink tiger. I'm not off screen. I can't exit that way, but I think I tricked the tiger. Yeah, um, oh, right. How about you? I'm, I'm not trying to... Do fellatio on you, I promise. I'm just trying to punch you. Okay, uh, punching does not work. Let's run. Okay, that looks like a big pit, which I cannot possibly get by. So, what is the objective of this game? I think we're going to have to read the manual. Ooh, that looks like something. Okay, if I press up, can I... Looks like something you can interact with, doesn't it? The box, but 
No, you can't. And I can't go that way. Okay. I can vaguely start to understand uh, this game's score now, because... Why can you go over the pit and I can't? And is that a... See, that looks like a, a sort of shotgun as well we can pick up. I have no idea what's going on anymore. And I'm not entirely sure about this music either. This isn't exactly up to the par of such things as Ron Hubbard. Um, so, okay, I can't go that way because there's a bloody trap. I can't go that way because it's a dead end. And I can't go up or down. So all I can really hope to do... <sighs> is attempt to jump and do that. There we go. Can't go that way because there's a mega pit. I will just... I will punch you. No, I won't. And then he punches you and... Oh, right, okay. He punches me off the screen. Okay. We'll head down. I just want to try and find anything. Oh! Okay, if I basically hold attack that, it appears that I block. Oh god, it's one of those games. It's a bit like, um... Oh god. <laughs> Get away from that. It's a bit like Renegade. So if I hold the attack button... No, sorry, if I hold the... What? If I hold the direction button, uh, sorry, the attack button and then direction, I can basically do lots of different, like, moves. Okay, so where's that bloody tribesman? I'm going to kick his ass now. I figured that out. Was he up here? Yeah, come on. Yeah, hoo-hoo! Not so tough now, are you, you bastard? Now I will knock you to the other side of the screen. Come on. Yeah. Can I kill him? <laughs> oh god. I think I just broke the game. No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, come on. Please tell me I can actually kill him. Because if I can't, what's the point? Or is it just to get him away from me? Okay, I'm going to do one more, then I'm going to have to go. Aha! Okay. I am learning as I go along. This is what I get for not reading the manual. I say manual. Nighttime? There's day and night cycles as well. Okay. This has actually got quite a bit to it, unless I've just literally mucked the colour up. I don't think I have. Okay. That's a dead end. I've so far not found anything to actually... You know, to do. Oh. Ah. Come on. Come back at me. I'll, uh... You're not going to come back, are you? No, you're not. Okay. See, that's a dead end. That Oh, that's a down. Okay. So you got to remember, these U-shapes are downs. Oh, come on. How am I meant to see that? Obscured by shrubbery. Okay. We We're getting there. And I bet you I'm about to run into another bloody wall, aren't I? No. Good. Yup. I'm actually really surprised. Um, considering the score, I wasn't expecting it to be this responsive. The controls are bloody awesome. Ah, and I jumped up. Actually, come back. Come on. I need to see if I can beat the hell out of you. Nope. Okay. Let's head up. And let's go to the right. No, it doesn't feel going from right to left. It doesn't feel right. Let's go against every... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> right, I need to edge onto the screen a little bit and then there we go. Now, I believe I came from up there before, when I got lost. Ha! Get back! And get back again, and... Yep. I, I just punched him off screen. Oh, come on! Now that... That is... 
really fucking retarded. You can't put a trap right next to a bloody, um... Oh, okay. That looks like I'm going that way. And I'm going to fall into the trap again, aren't I? There we go. You can't put a trap next to a bloody, uh, opening. Ah. Ah. Oh god. So now we're officially on night time. This has actually got a hell of a lot to it. I wasn't expecting this. Does night time bring anything else? Okay, another trap. Let's, uh, wheel. Uh, no. Wheel. You know what's actually really annoying about this? If this was sort of like a, a left to right action game, this would be really good. Because, say, the controls are just that bloody responsive. It's. In terms of. I, I've played. I've played Mega Drive games that haven't actually felt... Oh god, this is, now I'm not doing very well. I've played Mega Drive games that haven't felt as uh, quick and responsive as this. Okay, now that i figured that out... No, I can't get... That box has got to be something. Yes! There we go! So, what I did there is I held the button and pushed. I don't know what that is. So, am I looking for other boxes? Maybe so. So, yeah, let, I think we have a vague objective now. Well, I don't think we're going to last very much, you know, much longer, but... I'm, I think this is actually going to be a game I might have to revisit. And... Jump. Yeah, no, I'm actually really surprised by this. But it's a case of now, I've just got to find stuff I can pick up. Can I pick up the lock? No, I can't. Oh, Now... Okay, that's a banana. And that looks like things I can select, so... I've just selected... Oh! Okay. So... I, I can pick up and put down items as well. Yep. Oh, crap, that... Oh, come on. There we go. Now, where have I gone? See, some of them also teleport me onto the other screens, which is really bloody... Oh, hang on. I don't think I've actually been down this one. I think there is a small problem with this in the fact that all the screens do mostly look the same, so it's really hard to sort of figure out. You'd have to draw a map, I think. No. <laughs> Actually, just leap off the screen. Okay, we're going to finish this. Come on. Now let okay, my objective to finish this one off is just to punch this guy off the screen. Yes, almost. Yes! Right then, that has been Tarzan. Yeah, I think I'm going to revisit that. Next game. Game number two is Slain from the popular 2000 AD comic book series. It was released in 1987 and was once again released for the Commodore 64 and the ZX Spectrum. It has an average rating on Lemmy 64 of 5.6. You can probably start to see a bit of a trend here with creative reality based games. I should actually do a bit of a caveat. I say this is a point and click adventure game, I actually mean text adventure. So, anyway, let's have a look at this. Okay, so this is one where I've really go, got to go, what the fuck? Um, so, you'll see it's a point and click adventure game. There's text flowing everywhere on the screen. Oh god, here we go then. If I can actually get it. Um, you have to be really precise, and using a joystick to this is a bit weird. Good, then we shall begin. Yeah, you stand on a dirt track. It is often used, judging by the well-trod earth. There are five villi villagers here. Okay. So this is where things get a bit weird. Um, I've never really been able to actually do much with this game. Um, I can go in directions, and I can attack. 
but the actual main examine and look commands are really abject ab ab abject abstract <laughs> sorry so if we try and move now if i remember rightly if we have south there's a shrine and we head not see what i mean trying to even get to um Get into a command is a pain in the ass. North, there's a village. What we're probably just going to do for this, like, me showing it, because it's such a pain in the ass. Uh, a few small houses that can be seen scattered on the outskirts of this village. Um, we're mostly just going to prat around. We're not going to try and play the game properly, because I can't. <laughs> this bloody... With everything moving so, qu like, quick... I mean, why the hell did they think this was actually a good idea? No, not OK. And then you'll do something like that, you'll, where you hit OK and you'll cancel off where you're trying to go. The music kicks ass though, which is really annoying. It reminds me of um, Monty on the Run, actually. OK, you're in a small village, people can be seen going about their business. I'm actually surprised we don't have a talk command. Uh, nope. Yes, just managed to get moved. Let's keep heading northeast. I've actually not been up that way. Okay, this is the centre of the village. On a raised plinth can be seen a fountain. Okay, let's uh, look at the fountain. Now, look on, look into. It seems to be the best idea here. If we can get to it before, before it runs away. You've got to be so precise as as well uh look into there we go look into fountain there's nothing there is nothing <sighs> there's um a gravesite to the south like a little temple thing there was nothing there either oh we can go north let's go north Okay, you are on the northern side of the village. Thanks for that. That really told me a lot. Okay, we can go south or west. Well, we're going to go west. Uh, I mean, I'm not really familiar with the Slain, com uh, Slain comics. When it comes to 2000 AD, I was always more into Judge Dredd and Rogue Trooper. Oh, and uh, the ABC Warriors. Fucking love the ABC Warriors. Or I did it when I was a kid, anyway. I haven't really read anything of theirs lately. Uh, not I've really read anything Judge Dredd related lately, actually. I try, try and keep up with Rogue Warrior, though. Rogue Warrior? Rogue Trooper? God, Rogue Warrior is a very different thing. Uh, keep going west. I'm just going to attack something in a minute. Uh, this is the inside of a hut. You would see... Oh, I'm in a hut. Um, we want to... Look. Look. I don't know how I got in this hut. Look around. Quickly! And then we're just going to go on a killing... Really? There is nothing in here. Are you... I'm going to try look... Oh, I didn't mean examine. Examine just is your stuff that you're carrying. It's a real shame this music has been used on this game, because it really is pretty damn impressive. Come on. Okay, that's look. What about look? Look. I was going to try and do look into. Really? Okay, that's odd. We can't actually look anywhere around the hut at all. Okay. Uh, let's try and get to move. No, not invent. Oh, God. Oh, hello. Oh, God, that's our, that's our stuff. My mistake. I like the fact that slain is an inventory item. No. Yes, got move. Okay. Well, we can only head east. Okay, so we're in the village. No, no. <sighs> Why does it have to fly away? 
and sometimes at so much speed that I can't it comes on the screen and moves again. Arrgh. God, I... Oh, good, we're going to get attacked. Something interesting. Four villagers are coming straight for us. Uh, can I attack them first? No, I can't, because I can't even get to the attack button. Now, this actually is quite interesting, because you just have to try and hit things as they come. So I've just done punch. Okay, we've caused one damage. Let's, uh, warp. You feel the earth power surge through your body. The enemy is massacred. Yay! Okay, so we can head southeast, west, northwest. Well, let's go northwest. Oh god, it's the fucking inside of the hut again. Um, so we need to go southeast to get back out of here. So we can go anywhere but west and northwest, because that seems just to lead to the hut. There's a huge hut. Okay, uh, move. East or west? Um, I want to. I want to go east. North? No. Come on. This is the thing. If you actually want to go in a particular place, you have to be really patient for it to scroll around. Okay. So I'm on the northern side of the village again. Uh, there are four villagers coming straight for me. Can I get to attack before they... No, not in time. Okay, we scream. We have got four villagers. Let's leap! Let's swing! We've massacred them. So yeah, um... I... If there's more to this game, I actually don't know. <laughs> Because all that seems to happen is I'll find something interesting, I'll try and examine it or look at it, and nothing. And then the rest of the time I'll get attacked. I can understand why the game's got it, the score that it has. It's interesting, but... Oh, I want to go east. Yeah, it's interesting, but it's really lacking. This interface is terrible. Okay, many people can be seen heading southeast. Okay, then we better follow them, haven't we? Let's go southeast and follow up. That's annoying because I was clicking between south and east, it didn't matter. Um Okay, you are now outside the ale house, which can be entered to the east. Oh, let's go to the ale house. We might have actually made some progress. Okay, east. To the ale house! Okay, you stand in the entrance to the local hangout, I think. Okay, we have people coming at us. Can I... I didn't want to examine. Okay, it doesn't matter because they're attacking anyway. Right, we have a warp rating of nine. Let's kick. Uh, let's throw. I missed throw. Let's leap. Uh, let's kick. Uh, oh, behead! Yay, we massacred them. Okay, so we... <laughs> uh, just standing at the uh, entrance to the local tavern and we've just beheaded a load of people. Um, were we heading... Well, how do I go in? Do we, if we go east, will that take us into the tavern? Uh, this is the east side of the room. There's a long bar here. Okay, let's look. I might try actions to see if we get... Um, talk to someone. A bar. Thanks for that, Slain. What's Tate from? Oh, we can take from the bar. Okay, I probably should have done that in the hut, shouldn't I? Take what object? <gasps> uh, uh, um, I, I want, I want the, I want anything I can click. <laughs> Yay, I got a beer. 
And now I'm going to get attacked again. <laughs> yes, we scream a thing. Yada yada. See, the enemy's warp rating is 11. So, I haven't actually got that much health left, the looks of it. I've only got two, so in theory, they might kill me in a minute. But I want to drink, the, well, try and drink the beer. Okay, my warp rating is zero, so... But I'm not dead. Yeah, the enemy's massacred. Okay, inventory. Um, I want to... Well, I want to use the beer. How do I use the beer? Objects. Why is this interface so bloody complicated? Dear God. Um, well, use isn't really a thing. I can pick up. <laughs> I can pick up the bar. Oh, go on then. Far too heavy to take. Well, at least there's that. And then we can pick out Uko or Oko. I don't actually know his name. Oh, but no, he's not far too heavy to take because he's riding on your back. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's that for that one because I'm... Actually, tell you what, we're going to hit... Oh, come on, I'm going to hit Uko as a final thing. What is you that for? Because I am bored. Actually, that's actually a good way to describe this game. Again, I might come back to this one, but I really doubt it. Onward! Last up for this episode, then, is Nemesis the Warlock. Once again, released for the C64 and ZX Spectrum, but this time in 1987, the same year as did it Slain. Now, this is actually another 2000 AD related game, so the uh, company Martech must have got some sort of deal at that time, and it has a rating of 7, which is actually not that bad, considering all things. So let's finish this episode off. Let's look at Nemesis the Warlock. Okay then, Nemesis the Warlock. Now this is actually quite weird because it's 2000 AD and I've never heard of it. What's even more weird is I'm actually surprised about the amount of 2018 games were made in the C64 era. I can think of at least five off the top of my head. But anyway... Let's, uh... Get booging. Well, you vile aliens, you think you can beat the Grand Master of Termite? Sort of. Um, I haven't actually read any at all um, Nemesis the Warlock, so I'm not really familiar with anything that's going on. Now, in terms of the game, however, the objective. You have to kill... Just get some ammo so now we can fire the gun. We need to kill whatever number is in the bottom left. That amount of enemies. Okay. Why surviving, of course. We have limited amounts of ammo. We also have a sword, which is bloody awesome. And there's also this thing, where occasionally they'll come back in a stronger mode. Um, they're a waste of ammo, so we're going to stay away from that if we can. Now, you can see I'm also ducking, because I'm not at all sure about the hitbox in this game. Um, what happens anyway once we hit 18? Once we've killed 18 more enemies, we should, in theory, be able to exit this stage. But finding the exit is a bit weird. It could be to the left, it could be to the right, it could be up in any number of places. And I'm out of ammo. Oh, crap. Bit of a glitch as well. If a dead corpse goes over the ammo, you've lost that section of ammo, at least from what I understand from what I've played so far. And again, I really don't know where the hitbox is on this, so it's a bit annoying. Um, one button draws your gun, the other fires it. So you've got to press the button twice. Same with the sword. Twelve more. Don't you dare come anywhere near me. I quite like this, though. The actual bodies of the enemies can form stairs. Which can make it a lot uh, easier to traverse around. Balls, come on. When I actually did my test play, I could not even get off the first level. It took me a while to, to actually realise that you could exit the screen, but only once you've killed the enemies. I had to read online. Thankfully, someone on uh, 1164 told me the solution. That's if I even 
Oh, run, run! That's if I even uh, manage to kill the next six. I'm pretty sure I'm getting hurt. It's really hard to tell, to be honest. Ah! Fuck! Okay, we're gonna do that again. This time... This time we're gonna try and make it so we don't lose that ammo. And again, am I getting hurt? It's hard to tell. I know that um, hand in the bottom left does pulsate sometimes. Try not to waste the ammo either. Ah, multi-kill! And I don't know if you noticed that, on the right of the screen, the bullets do seem to actually travel over. Don't come anywhere near me and we'll get on fine. Oh, that might have made it so I can't pick up that ammo. We'll find out in a minute. Come on then, Mr. Reaper Man, piss off. This is how, how that actually, however, made me want to read Nemesis the Warlock to find out what the hell is it about, because it looks actually quite interesting. Those Reapers will disappear. Come on. Right. You're gonna drop down. Oh god, gotta move. Gotta move. Okay, we're gonna hide here. Hopefully that thing won't get us. It's gonna get us, isn't it? It's coming right for us! Oh god, that hurt! It's... Just go away! Oh god! Go on, piss off so I can... Piss off so I can get that ammo! There's two of them! I can't f You can fight them with the bloody pistol, but it just- It is a waste of ammo, I don't think it actually counts towards your, um... Your kill count. Why aren't they disappearing? If they're gonna stay, this is really bad, and this will be the first time that's actually happened to me before. Okay, that's gone. Uh, let's go get some ammo. Duck. That did not work. Right, come on. I think I took too much uh, punishment from what I'm gonna call them Reaper Ghosts. I'm sure there's actually a proper name. Okay, I have a ammo. I'm going to fire. One down. Unfortunately, the jump isn't that good. The controls are actually really solid. It's just the only thing that lets it down is the jumping animation. That and you can't duck and shoot. Um, a sort of hitbox that made sense as well. Some indication you've been hit would be good. Now, I'm sure in the bottom left, that is actually showing some indication I've been hit, but it doesn't feel like it if that's the case. You're going to come right for me, aren't you? Yeah, I'm better off just doing this. Jumping. That hurt. Fire. Get rid of this guy. I've got one shot left. So if I perch myself here for a minute. And that's bad. And I've... Oh, I've got to say, that corpse has made it so I can't pick up that ammo. Bloody brilliant. You're coming right for me. I'm going to have to waste this, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, I've got one shot left and I just wasted one. Okay, I've got to kill ten enemies. Because I cannot pick this ammo up that's here. Ten minute enemies with the sword. With a hitbox that makes no sense. This is going to be great. Like, I really don't know if them walking on the back, the platform below me hurts. Just make up your mind with the mechanics. You're gonna run away, aren't you? You bloody are! So I'm gonna have to now chase you. Right, okay. Eight more, come on. Maybe you can just farm them up here, that'd be good. Sometimes they don't respawn. So you actually have to travel down. See, that guy's now being a cock end and moving down. Come back. 
<laughs> okay, let's... Uh... Ah, oh, God! <sighs> I really would like an indication of those being hit. Now, there is something I haven't done yet. The spacebar will actually fire some sort of blast. I'm in completely the wrong place. I think next time I get one of those reapers, I'm going to demonstrate that. The reason I'm not using it... ...is because it's on the bloody keyboard and I'm playing with the joystick. It's good old Turrican rules again, but at least, um... Extra commands aren't, like, attached to the F keys, because that really would wind me up. Although you could argue I could just map them to the other buttons of the joystick. I can't be bothered. We're playing this legitimate. As legitimate as playing on an emulator is, anyway. Right, and already we've managed to lose bloody, um... One of our bullet caches. Ah, oh, interesting. So I don't know if you saw that, but the uh, green fireball I just shot off did a two-for-one job. Okay, seven. And I've got to do 13. If I can do this without wasting any bullets, that would be fantastic. One down. Okay, I'm going to have to go up. And I Nope. I can do... Him. 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 Nine more. Come, come to me like lambs to the slaughter. Ah, oh, wasted a bullet. Not that one, though. I'm going to have to actually go searching for him anyway. I'm going to keep ducking, because I'm... Oh, God. No, no, you're probably hurting me, aren't you? Uh, I'm going to jump off. Reroute. Oh, I can actually go up there now by doing that. Uh -huh, but so can you. Bugger. Aha, but now I'm back to sword fighting, so... Six. I think, is five the best score I've done so far? Come on down. Not that way. That's not coming on down, is it? Okay, I will come... I will come to you. It's actually really satisfying to actually smack these... Things! What is my hitbox? Is it literally a case of I can't touch them no matter what? Oh god, i still got a sword. Yeah, fuck the gun for a minute then, I'm just gonna go on a sword through. And I've lost some ammo. Right, you come here. I can even see the ammo where the body's covering it. Bloody annoying. Okay. Stop trying to run away, I just want to kill you. And that Reaper thing... How long it decides to stay seems to be completely... Whatever it feels like. And I'm stood on the body. Oh god! That was bad. Why is it still here? Oh, duck the say to it. Well, enemies can definitely hurt you when you're below them. Well, above them then. Considering what happened with that Reaper. I don't know when it, it comes to enemies above you. You gonna come up? No, you don't want to face my... What am I? Am I a dragon? Am I, uh, am I an aardvark? Is this completely stupid? Okay, one's gone. Right. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get ammo. We're gonna bloody unload. Okay. 14. I've got a feeling I'm never gonna see level 2. Oh, you would jump just before I'm about to shoot, wouldn't you? Okay, let's... 12 and 12. In theory... And, you know, it's all in theory. I should be able to actually, you know, if I'm really careful, I can do one shot a piece. You. Okay, I can't do one shot a piece. I actually managed to duck a bullet, I'm amazed.
<sighs> no. <laughs> no, I can't do it. No. Next game. 